Let's say you're stuck in your cube and your boss is being a boob and all you need's a little fresh air. But the line down at the diner's moving like a parade of Shriners from Elm Street to the Carolina Theater. Now you forgot to pack a lunch and you're feeling punch drunk from that ho ho in a glass of you. And by three, you need a brain for that Skype with Bahrain. Assal, assal, I'ma lake them to you. We gotta love on some grub in a food truck. Nosh on a tot made of roast duck. How about a little sympathy for the deli? And put some good food in that belly. Maybe drop a few pounds, chasing the thing down, 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 down. So Beth in accounting is calorie counting, and Frank announced he's newly gluten-free. Henry says he's cleansing, and Paula's hesitating between going primal and eating only organic meals. And the office fridge is empty, and people are getting cranky, and there's no budget for a team build this year. If we could only grab a bite as a group, we'd be all right. If we only had some food trucks round here. Now you know you're probably right to be putting up a fight. We can't have that kind of thing around here. And no, we're not in Austin. We're not even in Boston. And hey, you gonna eat that Three Musketeers right there? Now let's see how was it. That nice post report put it. She called us a derelict southern town. And it's just so hard to take. We can't wipe that smirk off her face with a fish taco and a basil lemonade to wash it down. We gotta love on some grub in a food truck. Nosh on some, nosh on some, uh, t- not a tot, made of roast duck. We need a culinary revolution, or at least a swift solution. Because I don't think this city can take one more ridiculous political discussion over not letting people make their own damn decisions. Bon appétit.